In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to upgrade your 2015 MacBook Pro from 512GB to 2TB of SSD storage. If you've been thinking about doing an upgrade for your 2015 MacBook Pro, don't take it to an Apple store or hire anyone to do it because this is very, very simple and I will show you exactly how to do it in this video. It's very simple, it's very cheap to give your laptop a big boost in performance. Alright, let's get into it. First thing to do is check out this post from Mac Rumors that shows you exactly how to upgrade and what you need to get in order to upgrade your SSD. After you're done picking out an SSD that you'll like, now's the time to create a bootable installer. This will be used to boot up your computer after you installed the new SSD. Then go on eBay and find the SSD that you want. In this case, I recommend the Sabrent 2TB NVMe SSD for the best value for buck. The one that I bought was $250 through eBay. Finally, my SSD arrived. This is the Sabrent Rocket NVMe M.2 SSD. Open it up and let's check out what's inside. All right, so let's get started. This is my set that I bought from Amazon. I'll include a link to it. And yeah, so. Nope, a little bit too big. I need something smaller. Yep, T3 work. one So we finally opened up the MacBook Pro and as you can see here, here's the battery and it's still in good condition as you can probably tell. And here's the fan also looking good because this is a refurbished unit that I bought from eBay. They really did a good job with this laptop. Definitely clean it up and everything is looking spanking good. Now that we've opened it up, we have to identify where the SSD is. And as you can see here, here's the SSD and all we have to do is remove a screw that is holding the SSD down and we can pop this out and replace it with a brand new SSD. So let's get started here. Here's the screw and all I have to do is remove it. So let's get started then. With the screw removed, popping out the SSD is pretty easy, but I would caution against using too much force here because the SSD is very, very thin. And let me show you here a little bit just to show how thin it is so that you'll be a little bit careful when you're popping it out. Now for the brand new M.2 NVMe SSD, it doesn't work right out of the box with the 2015 MacBook Pro. Now to fit this in, you need to plug it into an adapter that you can buy on eBay or Amazon for maybe $15. 
and that should allow you to plug in the SSD really, really easily. So you just have to slide it in and it would work right out of the box. Now, one thing to caution against here is that there are many Chinese companies that manufacture this adapter. So I will include a link below for the specific controller or adapter that I used so that you know that it will work right out the box for you and your 2015 MacBook Pro. With the SSD properly installed, all we have to do is screw in the back cover and we are good to go. Once you're done, make sure you give your laptop a good little wipe down just to give it that brand new look again. First thing to do here, plug in your bootable media into your laptop through the SD card slot, or you can plug in a USB drive or flash drive as your bootable media as well. Once the MacBook Pro loads up from the bootable media, the first thing you want to do is download a brand new copy of Mac OS X into your SSD. Now, installing a brand new copy of the Mac OS X requires a working internet, so make sure that you are somewhere where your computer is plugged in and you also have a working Wi-Fi that ideally should be pretty fast so that you can complete the installation in reasonable time. Sometimes it could take two to maybe three hours depending on the internet connection that you have, but I would recommend living it overnight so that it can install and complete the boot up process itself. Once the installation completes, you have the option of starting from a fresh new copy of Mac OS X, or you can restore your data from a previous copy of Time Machine if you have one set up already. Okay, so this is the next day. And this is my computer booting up for the very, very first time with the brand new SSD. So let's check and make sure the SSD install correctly. As you can see here, we have two terabytes of SSD storage on my 2015 MacBook Pro today. So the installation went successfully. Everything looks correct. It doesn't have any use space on there just yet. So let's run a performance test to see how the new SSD performs using this speed test from Blackmagic. As you can tell, as you can see, the SSD's write and read speeds are slightly better than my previous Apple original SSD. The write speed has doubled from 1000 megabytes per second to about 2000 megabytes per second. Now, what does that mean from a practical day-to-day -day perspective? I didn't really see that big of a difference when I'm using the laptop and I expected that. The only reason I really did this upgrade was to get the additional storage space on my laptop while still getting very, very similar performance to what I had before without paying a big chunk of change. And this upgrade has definitely satisfied that criteria. All of this is to say that if you're expecting a massive jump in performance when you upgrade the SSD from Apple's original to the brand new M.2, then this is not the thing for you. So to summarize everything, the upgrade cost me about $250 for the SSD itself, and I bought that from eBay. I spent $15 on Amazon buying the adapter, and I also spent $15 to buy the tools to open up my MacBook Pro. If you have the tools already, then theoretically, you're gonna be looking at about $275 plus tax to upgrade your laptop. And in total, it took me about two hours because this was my first time opening up my laptop for the very first time, it took me a little bit more time than usual. If you're used to doing this kind of things or you're very familiar with electronics, I imagine it's gonna take you maybe 30 minutes or so. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you've learned something from this, if you enjoyed this, please 
hit that subscribe button, like this video, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!